Hey, hey, my scrappy friends, it's Melinda here with you today. And thank you ever so much for stopping by my channel. Um, as you saw from the beginning, no doubt, uh, I am, this is a, another hybrid layout for the Tracy Reed Designs team. Um, and this is the brand new, beautiful, fun, super bright, fun, it, I love it, um, Sun Kissed Collection. Uh, uh, and today is the YouTube pop for the new release. This technically, uh, in, if you're in the US, this release hit the shop on the 1st. So, um, this is going live on the 3rd. Uh, so yeah, as I record this, it is the 2nd here in WA in Australia. Uh, so yeah, it hit the shop yesterday which will be like three days ago for you guys or something like that. Um, and I've just had a lot happening in my life and have only just gotten around to doing this as my first layout with this beautiful collection. But we are doing the, um, the new release hop this weekend as well. So make sure you jump in the description box below so you can see all of the amazing inspiration that's happening using this stunning new collection by Tracy. Um, yeah, uh, what I've got here is a I've used the 12 by 12 papers from the collection and as you can see I have uh, printed them at 6 by 6 when I printed them out I shrunk them down on my A4 paper in Photoshop so they were 6 by 6 I've also flipped I think it's the heart the tie-dye heart I flipped that so the hearts tilted the other way and then I just printed them like I said on A4 uh, paper and I ended up with this um, quadrant four quadrant background and I really love how all these patterns and all these colors work together there is a lot happening but these yeah I love such a beautiful collection so fun I know I say that a lot uh, so what you see me do so far is I've stuck down those four six by six papers onto a sheet of it's actually the Vicky Boot mixed media paper I'm not I don't love it so I'm quite happy to use it as a background like this and cover it all up and uh, I've like I said adhered those four quadrants and I'm working on my layers I decided pretty quickly so I knew I was going to use this photo of my youngest this is from 2020 uh, I decided that I was going to basically build up a cluster it's not in the middle but it's kind of in the middle crossing over all four quadrants uh, to create my page I'm sorry that I'm so scatterbrained I haven't done a voiceover for a little while like I said I've got a lot going on uh, my family received some pretty crappy news recently uh, and yeah so I am a bit all over the shop please do bear with me I'm doing my best right now uh, so you can see I've got the some of the four by six there's journal cards here but there's also the pattern cards and you can see I'm just layering that up when I saw this yellow uh, hello sunshine I was like yep that's gonna be my title I love it and then I brought in the white with the little cross star thingies and then the pink you can't see it very well on the video but it's got little um, white rainbows all over it. it's really cute and then I've got the tie-dye pattern in the background there I started off with the three no with the four by six card that I cut diagonally but I didn't like how that was looking so then I trimmed down my two three by four cards if you don't know this already in all of Tracy's collections if there's a card that is like that if it's say got text on it uh, obviously the text in English goes from you know top left to bottom right uh, and in all Tracy's collections in the printables you get it so it is a three by four so that would be um, like a cross or a four by three um, so you get it both ways I hope that makes sense um, so I cut down both of the three by four of the tie dyes to play with the layers in my background there and I really like the way that that kind of balances the color out a bit more and I'm just gonna 
start sticking on my layers together. I've put some vellum behind my photo. Uh, it has some gold text print on it. And then I've bumped those two layers up on some foam. And I am just layering these pieces in a way that I'm happy with them. I didn't want the blue on the blue down the bottom there. So you can see I'm kind of being strategic about where I'm layering the pieces here. And I was like, hang on, I think I can use one three by four here. So that's what I do. Just play with the layers a little bit. Then I have, so for this one, I printed the stickers as sticker sheets. Uh, and because I'm working on A4 paper, I have room on the bottom to add uh, a few extra pieces. Normally I will go into the embellishments and pick out some of the things that I want to print from the embellishments. And when I printed this one, I chose the felt embellishments, which look really cool when they're printed. I get some onto this page as well. So I'm yeah, working with the sticker sheets as they come with uh, like an extra row of stickers down the bottom. I decided I was going to use the florals on here, much to my son's disgust. He's not, he's a little bit more fussy about these things, but it's all good. He gave me the tick of approval when the page was finished. So I'm going to go with the two clusters. I did try for a third, but I was just like, nah, I like it with that two and it, is that really strong diagonal top left to bottom right line. Just playing with placement. Trying to make sure I've got the colours spread um, evenly around the page. There is a lot of colour happening. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go with these floral clusters, two to the bottom right and one to the top left. Then I've gone back to the sticker sheet and I've got here one of the little tabs. You can see I'm going to try it in about a gazillion different places. And then I do find a spot for it in a minute. Now because these are stickers I have to be careful because my this main cluster is not stuck down yet. And I'm not ready to stick it down yet. Because I know that the story that I want to tell, um, though it is directly related to this photo, it's a bit of a longer story. Uh, and I need to. In I wanted to include some space for extra journaling, so that's why I haven't stuck anything down yet. I will in a little while. So I'm just going to work on all my top layers here. Um, fun memories. I've just stuck that one down there. I'm going to add this one to the top of the photo. I'm going to add some foam behind it. I think it says "loving this." I can't remember. I just made this a couple of hours ago. All right, so this is where I'm like, okay, I need to include some extra journaling, extra room for journaling. So I'm playing with one of the Traveller's Notebook signatures here. Uh, I really like that one, but I didn't want the pink on the pink. So I decided to go with this rainbow. Again, this is one of the Traveller's Notebook signatures. And you can see I've got my tag dies there. And I'm going to trim that down. I end up going with the next size down. which you'll see in a minute. So everything's stuck down now. So that is the felt embellishments there. I've got everything else that was there stuck down. There is the tag I made. Um, so these photos, this, this particular photo was taken at Adventure World in WA. Um, I think I recently shared another layout from there, but a more recent trip. Um, this little guy, it's funny. <laughs> Uh, I always thought that he would be my more adventurous um, adrenaline junkie child, but he's not. He's, I mean, there's still plenty of time for that to change. Uh, and every year when we when we make this trip to Adventure World, through my husband's work, uh, in very, and like, him and I end up hanging out together in the kid pools for most of the day, which doesn't bother me, and I kind of really like it because you know they're only little for such short amount of time. So I'm like, I'll hang out with you, mate. That's fine. Uh, and so I just want to get that story documented. Um, you can see I've stuck down to the bottom as well a label. Um, so I'll just add some really brief journaling about, you know, Hunter and I were just hanging out um, in one of the pools and he was looking super cute. 
I've got my clear stickers here. So when I printed these, um, I went into the embellishments, I think. And I've printed like the enamel pieces. Um, so there's some of the mixed media there. Um, I can't remember what else I printed, but I printed all those pieces. And I'm just going to scatter three hearts in yellow, pink and green up to the top left and then down to the bottom right. Um, just really reinforcing that diagonal. And then I'm going to come in with those same three colours again in the middle. I do just move them around a bit and work out exactly where I want them. Because they are clear stickers, they kind of blend into the background, but they're a cute little detail. Um, and when you keep looking at the page, you see them. Cover my photo up. Because I've got that vellum with the gold, I wanted to add some gold splatters. So I've got my um, Heidi Swap Gold Colour Shine. I'm just splattering that on that diagonal as well. Watch this, I get this really giant splatter. Look at that. Um, so I'm just splattering that on the angle, on, on that diagonal. Soak up some of the extra liquid. I'm showing you here, I'm going to do my gold journaling in there. Um, add my date stamp in that little um, tab thing. And then add my gold journaling onto my tag as well. And that is my page done. So do make sure that you uh, pop down into the description description box so you can check out all of the other amazing um, creations she's in this beautiful collection make sure that if you are interested in grabbing this you grab it this weekend it is 40% off in the store uh, again I'll make sure everything is linked in the description box below as always thank you so so much for stopping by and choosing to spend your scrappy time with me thank you for your patience with my somewhat all over the place uh, voiceover and I look forward to my next process video share with you have a fantastic scrappy day